The other thing it does is it gets your arms out from in front of your chest. I hope you're noticing a pattern by now. All these moves get your arms out from in front of your chest. Your arms must stay in front of your chest in the golf swing. In this series, we're going to look at keeping your arms straight in the backswing. I'm going to start off by explaining some of the errors people commit that cause them to bend their arms in the backswing. And then I'm going to show you my method for keeping your arms straight in the backswing. The first error that people commit that cause them to bend their lead arm is to attempt to swing their arms around their body. Too many people think that what you're supposed to do is take your arms and sling them around their body, that it's they're throwing their arms back. That's gonna cause you to fold every time or bend your arm every time. Your left lead arm should be part of a folding motion. It should stay in front of your chest, should not sling around like that. If you do that, you're going to bend it every time. It's just fold and keep it in front of your chest. The next move that people commit that cause them to bend their lead arm is to move their arms before their shoulders. If you move your arms first, you get totally disconnected. This trail arm gets out and it's back on your side. From this point, there's really no way you can fold, get this club back into your back position without folding this arm. Again, if your first movement is moving your arms, look at the position it puts this arm in. This is a bad position to be in. My trail arm has slid back to my side. My lead arm is down low. At this point, how do I get this club up? I've got to fold my lead arm. And subconsciously, you'll fold that lead arm trying to get that club back in the back position. Again, it takes your arms out from in front of your chest. Your arms on the back swing should stay in front of your chest. The next error that caused people to fold their lead arm is to pull their golf club with their trail arm. Many people have been taught to do this. Some, there's even a name for it, the lawnmower move, where you pull down and you pull with your trail arm. No matter how you do this, this is going to get you in a terrible position at the top of the backswing. From here, there's pretty much nothing you can do except bend that arm. The other thing it does is it gets your arms out from in front of your chest. I hope you're noticing a pattern by now. All these moves get your arms out from in front of your chest. Your arms must stay in front of your chest in the golf swing. Your arms stay here. They don't go over here. When you get over here, that arm's going to bend. Again, the lawnmower move. They just recommend that you rev up with your trail arm and pull like a lawnmower. What does that do? It just puts your arm, again, in a terrible position. Your arms have to stay in front of your chest. Do not pull with your trail arm. Another error that people make that causes them to fold their arms, it's not really an error, but it's more of a subconscious move, is they don't turn their shoulders fully. If you don't get a full shoulder turn in the back swing, even if you get your arms folded correctly, there's a subconscious feeling that the club's not back far enough. So what you do is you fold that arm to get it back where it belongs, to get enough distance. Look, not all of us are as flexible as 
but you're better off keeping your arm straight than you are folding it in the backswing. So you've got to be aware of what happens at the subconscious level here. When you get back, you don't make a full turn. You want your arm still to be straight at this point. You don't want to come back and make that partial turn and have your arm come back here in a subconscious attempt to get the club back, quote, far enough. Another error that people make that prevent them from keeping their arms straight in the backswing is not starting uh, their backswing with their lead arm on top of their chest. They start it here on the side. When your arm bicep is here on the side, when you move it, it has a tendency to get caught on your chest. And when it does that, you, the only thing you can do to get it up is to bend it. A lot of people have been taught to just let their arms hang, and they hang their arms down by the side. They're out and down the, by the side. But when you do that, when you turn, your lead, ar lead arm gets caught on your chest. And as you turn, the only thing you can do is fold it because your chest is holding up your lead arm from getting back. Your lead arm should be on top of your chest so it's free of any impediment. And then as you turn, it can easily go back. So beware that your lead arm is getting caught on your chest or dragging along your chest. Your lead arm should not start out on your side. Your lead arm should start out on top. Another reason that people bend their lead arm in the back swing is they try to keep their bicep glued to their chest. Even if your bicep starts out in a good position on top of your chest in the back swing, if you keep it glued down to your chest, you can only get about this far until you have to start bending that lead arm. Your lead bicep should come up off your chest like that. Now, a lot of people use this glove drill, and I've seen it used with both arms, try to learn how to keep their arms close or keep their arms, quote, connected to their body. When you use that here, it just makes you keep your lead arm glued to your chest. As long as you're not dropping that glove, you're going to bend that arm. You've got to let your lead bicep come out. It comes off your body. You can't do that hold a glove drill and get your arms back in the correct position. Your lead bicep should come up and off of your chest, should not stay glued to it. The next thing that causes people to fold their lead arm in the backswing is the wide takeaway. Now, I know many of you have been taught this. You've been taught to delay the folding of your arms and the cocking of your wrist to the last moment. But when you do that, when you get up to this position, there's a lot of force built into that head. And if you're not cocking your wrist, something's going to bend and it's going to be your arms. You just can't throw the club up there and not cock your wrist. The solution to fix this is to cock your wrist earlier. Just go ahead and cock your wrist early in the backswing. There's no problem with it. Cock your wrist early, and that lead arm stays straight because there's less pressure on it. Another thing that causes people to bend their lead arm in the backswing is picking the club up too steeply. Now remember, in the backswing, your arms should go in a motion similar to this. But some people take the club and they pick it up and they try to throw it over their shoulder, almost in an ax move, like that. I've even seen people teach this. They talk about treating the club like an ax. They say, just throw it over your shoulder. When you do that, Pick it up steeply like that. You're gonna, there's so much force, you're going to bend that arm. 
it's just not comfortable to keep this arm straight and bend it and get it over your shoulder. And besides, what you should be doing is folding it like this, not throwing it up steeply over your shoulder. Finally, the last error that people make that causes their lead arm to bend is not rotating the lead arm in the backswing. Now, the lead arm should rotate in the backswing. Notice that lead elbow, it starts pointing toward me or toward my belly, toward the ground. When it gets up at the top, it is rotated about 90 degrees and it's pointed uh, parallel to the ground. That's the way it should work. But when you don't rotate that lead elbow, what happens when you get about here is you can't hinge this lead wrist from this position. So when you do hinge it, it causes a big flex in your uh, lead wrist, but it also causes that arm to bend. There's really nothing you can do about it. If you don't rotate, that lead arm, as you come up, it's going to bend. I mean, you can't get your wrist back into position. You can't hinge this trail wrist fully without bending that lead elbow. So the way to prevent that, it's really simple. You just rotate your lead elbow. Your lead arm rotates. That's the way it's designed to move. That's the way it should move in the golf swing. Now, I know a lot of people try to do the square to square stuff where they don't rotate their lead arm. You need to rotate your lead arm. I'm just telling you, you need to rotate it. Not rotating it is one of the causes of you bending that lead arm.